January is always a special month because we celebrate the life of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. One of the many things that he reminded us is that faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. Here in Key West, you can help celebrate his life by attending the third annual scholarship prayer breakfast taking place at the Marriott Beachside Resort. Reverend Randy, I know you would agree that it is so important that we celebrate the life of this man here in Key West. Absolutely. Dr. King is often thought of as a leader of the civil rights movement, especially around issues of racial equality. But actually, his ministry is focused on the larger issue of justice. It was worked out through the civil rights movement, but also through economic justice, interpersonal justice, and a number of issues. So he's that central figure in the 20th century that leads us toward a more inclusive lifestyle, not just for some people, but for all people. Well put, yeah. Reverend <laughs> Randy. And let's talk about this breakfast. This is the third annual prayer breakfast. That's right. We began um, two years ago, so this will be the third annual. It'll be on Monday, the 21st of January, 8 a.m., out at Beachside Marriott. It's an opportunity for the community to come together in a setting of both prayer and challenge to be able to remember his words but realize they don't belong in history, they belong in today, they belong in our actions. And so the breakfast will include not only a sumptuous breakfast, but also a dramatic presentation of his work, Why We Can't Wait, done by local young people. And then the main address is by Dr. Charles Adams. He's minister of the Hartford Memorial Church in Detroit. This is an outstanding speaker and man. He's been a professor at Harvard University he also has been chosen as the outstanding black church preacher in many years. So we have an opportunity to see a world-class event that morning. Reverend Randy, I know that you've attended the past two breakfasts right. that we've had. What did you learn the most from these breakfasts? I think the most I learned was one, that the common language of heart and spirit leading us to better actions in our lives can inspire us to do good not only on global scales but on local scales bringing together people of all religious traditions, bringing together people of all different colors, persuasions, and interests to realize that we have a common destiny, that we are woven in a common fabric, as Dr. King would have said. So that there's a moment in those mornings when suddenly you get it, that we're not in this separately, we're in this together. Reverend Randy, let's talk about the organization, the yep. Interfaith Alliance, that hosts this breakfast. Right. This is the Inter Interfaith Ministerial Alliance. It is an organization across all kinds of religious lines in town. So we have various varieties of Christians. The rabbi is part of us, the leader of one of the Buddhist groups, Baha'i, Unitarian Universalist. It's a collection of those who believe that life is enriched by having a sense of spirit and faith in one's life. Do you host other events throughout the year? We do. We had a, an interfaith picnic out at the Botanical Gardens, and we'll have another one this spring, which will be happening at uh, probably at Wee Ward Park or Nelson English. And we also present a program of prayer for the healing of AIDS, and that will be at the beginning of March this year. Mm -hmm. So a number of events, and there are other ones that are on the planning boards right now for this year. Wonderful. Well, the most important one right now will be taking place next Monday at Beachside Marriott. Reverend Randy, I think that we could probably talk a whole show, multiple shows, in fact, about Martin Luther King Jr., couldn't we? We certainly could, because this was a man of diverse interests and directions, uh, tremendous depth. He studied for his doctorate at Boston University, uh, where he explored the intersection of religion and social action. Mm -hmm. So important to understand that we can't just sit on Sunday morning in a pew or Saturday morning in a pew and think that life will change just because we're sitting there. Right. So it would be very interesting. Now some people may want to attend this breakfast and so there is an opportunity to get tickets and I would remind them uh, if they uh, write to MLK at keywestinterfaith.org they will be in touch with the person who can help get them a ticket to this event. And tickets are still available to the public? There's a limited number of them available. We've mm -hmm. uh, filled the hall in past years, and it looks like we'll be doing that again this year. And we should say, the scholarship part of this, last year we gave a $5,000 scholarship to a graduate of Key West High School. Uh, this was someone who was the first person in their family not only to go to college, but to graduate from high school. 
So this is significant work that we do. Mm -hmm. It's not just having breakfast and a good time. We're trying to change the lives of some young people. Well, you're doing just that, and hopefully everybody can purchase their tickets right now and help give another Key West High School student a scholarship that they might not get a chance to go to college otherwise. I would hope so, mm -hmm. and that they would be there to take part in the program. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think one of the things that happens within that morning is that different people come together and sometimes we mix up who's at what tables. Some are sitting with their congregational groups or their community groups, but then they start to mingle. And all of a sudden, the connections in the community become wider, become bigger. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the excitement of the morning as well. Plus, we'll sing together. We'll see some good photographs and other works of Dr. King's life and, in general, be inspired. Mm -hmm. You absolutely will be inspired yes. by him. Thank you for being on the show this morning. Well, thank you, Jenna. It's always wonderful to be here, and uh, we look forward to seeing you and everyone else next Monday. Wonderful. That will be coming up so soon. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in this morning and joining me. I hope you can wake up with me again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day, everybody. It'll be a 